What's up, YouTube? My name is Kenny J, and this is Kenny J TV. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is about captive versus independent agents. I get a ton of requests to do this video weekly. People reach out to me and ask which way should I go, which is better. And thankfully for me, I've had the opportunity to work in both. So I started my career as a captive agent with State Farm. And then after I left there, I opened up my own agency where I was a independent agent slash general agent slash insurance broker. So I'm gonna run down the difference, the pros and cons between each one and where you are in your life should you start as a captive or independent agent. Either way, you're in insurance, the best industry in all the land. The type of agent you should be, independent versus captive, depends on where you are in your life and what benefits or what perks are you looking for. The first thing on the independent side is residuals slash renewals. So in my video of why I left State Farm, I said I was not getting any type of residuals or renewals there. And I had people coming for me saying that's not true, but I was speaking from a team member perspective. I know that the State Farm agency owner does receive residuals and renewals, but as a team member under her as a licensed agent, we were not receiving any type of residuals or renewals. And that's one thing that I really disliked about being a captive agent. I work hard for this policy. I'm the one out there scouting and getting new business in the door, and I cannot reap the benefits when they're with a company for three, four, or five years. So on the independent side, I'm able to get residuals and renewals. A lot of times the renewal percentage on the PNC side is the same as when you first sign on. So let's say when they first get a policy with you, the percentage is 8%. On the renewal, you get an additional 8% every year that they're with you. Now on the life insurance side, it is a little different. The first year, they do give you a huge percentage and then second year on, you do get a lower percentage, but a lot of times I see where the residuals for life insurance is literally until they die. So you're always getting that money every year and that is what's helping build up your book of business or your agency. One cool thing about the captive side is you do get that salary. So I know at State Farm I was getting a base salary plus commission. On the independent side, it's strictly commission. And even all of my agents that work for me or work with me are strictly commissioned. They do not get a base salary. So if you do not produce, you do not sell. And if you're someone that's a parent or you're looking to switch careers and you want something stable, you should definitely go captive because you're getting that nine to five feel, you're getting that base salary. You know, we want you to sell, we want you to make more money, but even if you sell nothing, you still get that base salary. So you have that cushion to support your family, to pay your bills and all the nine yards. I will say on the independent side, even though you do not get a base salary, the commission is literally four to five times higher than on the captive side, at least from my experience. So I was getting a certain percentage on life insurance at State Farm or any captive agency that you're with. On the independent side, it grew by four to five times and I was completely shocked, but I understand why I'm not getting a base salary on this side. I mean, I do own an agency, so I guess I could take out a base salary, but that would kind of be counterproductive if I did that. But on the independent side, nine times out of 10, you are just getting commission only. One thing that I hear a lot on the independent side is when people are contracted directly through Let's say life insurance companies, they have those direct appointments, which means they represent the company directly, whether it be New York Live or whether it be um, any type of life insurance company out here. And the thing with that is, I see a lot of times people reach out to me for coaching calls is because they're getting no training. They say, Kenny, all they care about is the money. They don't really care if I know the product, they just want me to sell something. In the long run, that can hurt you as an agent and it can also hurt the insured because they don't know the importance of life insurance and they're just getting a policy because they know they need something. But let's say you give them a 30 year term and then 30 years down the line, 
and they're still alive and now they're uninsurable due to any type of medical condition they had or they just can't even afford the policy renewal. Now you didn't do your, your job as an insurance agent correctly to inform them that this was going to renew but here you are 30 years later, you may not even be in insurance, you may be retired, you may be doing something completely different but now they have to go through the consequences of you not properly insuring them. So product knowledge is key when you're in insurance. You're protecting people's lives, their assets, their properties. The last thing that you want to do is not know how to do it because that's when E&O or professional liability insurance comes in play because you can get sued for those type of things. And I've seen agents all over get sued for underinsuring someone or not properly insuring their assets. And then an accident comes up and now they're left having to pay out of pocket. As a captive agent, you're usually with a big company like State Farm or Allstate. So the marketing and the branding almost does itself. When you think about car insurance, you think, oh, I need to call Allstate or oh, I need to call State Farm. Those are the companies that come to mind and you Google close to State Farm near me, you reach out to them and you get that insurance. When you're on the independent side, you have to build up that brand. You have to build up that credibility of your agency. It can be a lot harder and it honestly is a lot harder, but it's all about your marketing techniques. And I found some great marketing techniques that have worked for me, but it's consistently going out there, shaking the people's hands. Even in the pandemic, of course you want to social distance, but reaching out to these companies, going to these different dealerships and just getting your name out there because if they don't know you're there, how do you expect them to buy insurance from you? So on the independent side, you're building up your name, whereas the captive side, Allstate or State Farm, everybody knows who they are. They have the Super Bowl commercials, they have the commercials on everyday TV and on YouTube ads. So those type of companies, you don't have to spend a ton on branding and marketing because it honestly handles itself. One thing that I absolutely love about being an independent agent is that I have options. When I was a captive agent and I was running you a quote for car insurance or any type of insurance and it was too high, I could do things to possibly adjust the rate just a little, but the rate is what it is. Now on the independent side, if you don't like the policy, the price or anything, I'm able to shop over 20 carriers or 20 different insurance companies to give you the best rate. So even if you're a client with me and your car insurance skyrockets for whatever reason, we have other options to keep you in our agency. It's not like with a captive agent, if the policy goes way up, you can probably adjust it a little bit, but that's it. You can't shop other carriers opposed to with an agency that's independent like myself, I'm able to shop different carriers, different rates to give you the best value for your buck. And I work for the client. On the captive side, they're working for the company they want to sell that policy. But for an independent agent like myself, I have your best interest at heart to find that best deal. And that is one of the best things that I love, love, love about being an independent agent. I don't have to turn away as many people as I did when I was a captive agent. It made me so sad when I had to turn away people on a daily basis because of their driving record or their company was too high of a risk for us to insure. But now I have surplus lines. I have not admitted companies that I'm able to write through if the quote unquote standard market isn't able to write it. All in all, both captive and independent Agents are great ways to start your career in the insurance industry. It just depends on where you are in life and what benefits or what perks do you want from your position. If you have any questions of how to get training on the independent side or you just have any general questions about how to start an agency or you want to hop on a coaching call, the link is in the bio below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for my latest notification. We are dropping a video every week. Again, my name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny JTV.